Now back here locally in Provo, counselors are assisting Brigham Young University students who witnessed a student fall four stories inside of a campus building this morning. ABC4's Rick Aaron has the story. Normally, there would be hundreds of BYU students attending classes inside the Tanner building on a Monday afternoon, but right now the building is closed and classes have been canceled for the rest of the day. BYU spokesperson Carrie Jenkins describes it as a tragic incident that happened just before 9 a.m. in the building's atrium. We did have a student fall from the fourth floor. Graduate student Derek Adams was in class at the time. A girl came in and told us that the police were out there and asked us not to go into the atrium. That was basically it. Some of the other students had seen something out of the corner of their eye and heard something. The student was taken to nearby Utah Valley Hospital. The BYU Police Department is investigating whether the fall was accidental or intentional. But many, including freshman Eleanor Snow's father, think this was a suicide attempt. And he said that some of his students saw a girl jump from the fourth floor. and. They were working on um, finding counseling for students who saw it because that's, that's just so hard. We immediately made counseling available here in this building to our students. We also have counseling available for our campus community at the Wilkinson Student Center. Everyone who saw it should go see someone because that's really scarring. Carrie Jenkins says that the BYU Police Department's investigation is ongoing, but she anticipates that this building will reopen for classes on Tuesday. In Provo, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Now, we have no official update yet on the student's condition. We can show you that eight years ago, a 21-year-old male student committed suicide in that same building.